my training day and I'm now up I'm now editing episode 11 of powerlifting it is not powerlifting Simon stop being stupid I am editing bodybuilding with calisthenics episode 11 I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday it was just shit man it's so this it is so time consuming like bro to record and edit edit one parallel, I mean, bodybuilding cast next episode, bro. I swear I could have made like four or five non bodybuilding cast next videos and upload them. Like, that's how long it takes. Like, I swear, one episode could, could probably take me two days to edit and get up. So, it's like, honestly, from now on, the schedule is going. I'm gonna try to make it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but yo, it may not be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Honestly, it just I just gotta go with the flow. I'll say this. I'm going to try to get three consecutive episodes up before I upload any other type of video. So when it's Bodybuilding Cast Thanks Week, I'll make sure like episode 13, 14, 15 gets up and then I'll upload another type of video. Now that I'm taking care of my son, it's like, yo, what the hell are you doing? You selling drugs? No, guys, I am not selling drugs. <laughs> Jeez, man, editing these videos with this crappy computer. Look at this broken. Come on, play. This is why it pisses me off. It takes like editing a video. It makes editing a video two times longer. And I have to go back. I gotta find right where I'm about to talk so that it, it does a clean cut into the next scene or the next clip. Right, man. You guys should see how my videos look without any editing. It's so it's like awkward seeing me turn off the camera or or, or stop the video every single time. See, so then I cut it, so then when it plays, right, it goes like this. You're selling drugs? I'm telling you, mofo! And it cuts right into the next clip easily. All my SOS family members do not listen to the hater! Someone actually asked me, or I think it was a couple of people, someone, some of you guys asked me to make a video on how I edit my videos, but not now. The reason why is I want to get my new equipment. I want to get, oh, you know, new stand. This stand is broken bro look at this look at this shit it's freaking broken right i want to get a new stand uh, i want to get a new camera new mic new laptop all of them things so i'm able to because then when i get all those things the way i make videos may actually change like i'll actually have lights i want to get new lights for my room probably get some some of the camera lights uh and get some programs so i'm, so I'm actually able to record my computer Right, as I edit. You guys know those videos, like when they record the computer? So basically when I do that, then I could actually make that video. It'll be a lot more better. Because the way I edit videos now, they're a pain. it's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to try to teach you guys a pain in the ass way of editing videos. But yeah, this is pretty much what I do all freaking day. With, especially with bodybuilding calisthenics. And again, for those of you guys who don't know what I use, I use HitFilm 3 Express. Express is the free version. I think there's professional or whatever, but you have to pay for that. So you can get all of the other, uh, so you can get all of the other, like, effects and crap. But I don't need that. I'm simple, man. All I need is fade in, fade out, uh, the letterbox and whatnot. That's all I really need. And I just need to be able to, you know, have different types of, uh, streams or, what is it called? Basically streams of videos. Like, I'm able to, like, insert a track. So I'm able to put another video, like, layer one on top of each other and whatnot. So yeah, if you guys really want to make better YouTube videos and stop using Windows. But, if you, you know what though, with Windows Movie Maker, I use Windows Movie Maker to save all of the clips that I record into an MP4 file. So basically, like I recorded like 60 clips, 60 plus clips, which was like an hour long for Bodybuilding Calisthenics episode 11, and then I save it into one video so then i just have to cut all the unnecessary parts out and that's how i edit my videos because if i if i just take all the raw clips and put it into the uh the computer into this program it will crash the program because the computer is shit okay so i just got through 10 minutes of uh, not 10 minutes of of editing because it's actually been what almost two hours now of editing but i got through the first 10 minutes of the video like that's how long it took for 10 minutes of the video it took me about an hour and a half to edit it because it's so freaking slow and annoying. But yeah, I gotta discipline myself because 
these are the times where I forget to eat. I just keep trying to edit the video as fast as I can. I forget to eat. So I'm going to go make some macaroni and cheese, some craft dinner. And I'm going to eat that entire box, man. I'm freaking hungry. Okay, so this is my second meal of the day. And obviously, I wasn't going to show you guys how I prepared macaroni and cheese. Like, I'm just going to boil the freaking noodles or the mac macaroni and then mix in milk, butter, and the cheese that comes with it. You know what? I think I'm gonna buy like, I'm gonna buy like 10 packs of mac and cheese <laughs> just for some easy calories because honestly, I'm not trying to cook any extravagant meals to get these calories in, especially after eating, drinking two protein shakes. After two protein shakes, that's like what, 2,000 calories or 1,800 calories really easily. So it's like, bro, I'll just make some simple meals, get the calories in, and freaking work out and get bigger. Simple as that. You don't have to do anything extra extravagant for your diet. You watch these people like Chris Jones and Max Tuning and all them people who do days of eating. You ain't gotta go out and eat all them rich ass foods. Just gotta, you know, eat some mac and cheese, some spaghetti, meat, rice, chicken. You already know. You know what too? You could even throw in some ketchup <laughs> for some easy calories and drink some juice. Come on guys, it ain't that well. It's not so hard, but I just suck in, I suck at getting all the meals in. Like I just suck at it. I don't have a lot of food in here. I still gotta do groceries, but then something came up so I can't really spend all my money just yet. So it's like just gotta figure it out though. As you guys can see, I pretty much finished this in like 60 seconds. That ain't gonna quench my hunger. Is that the word? Quench? Can you quench hunger? Well, let's refill this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get these calories in. More ketchup, still got some juice. And yes, it satisfy my hunger, not quench my hunger. I'm stupid. Okay, so I'm looking at the calories, the box, and one box of macaroni, when it's prepared, uh, it's 240 calories per quarter of a box. So multiply it by four, and you get what? 840, 40, 80. So like 960 calories per box, if you eat it all by yourself. 40 carbs per quarter box, so multiply that by 4, get 160, and for the protein, 7 grams of protein, multiply that by 4, you get 28, so 20 grams of protein, 160 grams of carbs, and 960 calories, yo, that's ridiculous, so if I, if I want to bulk, all I gotta do is eat one box of macaroni and two protein shakes, and I'm pretty much in a caloric surplus, See how easy bulking could be? I just make it hard for myself. Obviously, I'm not going to just eat that, though. But, yeah. Just some food for thought. Literally. Okay, so I'm pretty much done editing. Body Being with Calisthenics episode 11. It's about 27 minutes. So, we'll be up later on today. Well, today's Thursday. So, you guys will be, you guys will already watch the episode since this episode is up now. Episode 12. But... Take this in guys, look at this. Remember guys, I started editing this video at 11, like 11 o'clock, but here's the thing, before I edited the video, I had to save, I had to convert it into a MP4 file. So pretty much converting it into an MP4 file takes about like two hours. Then it took me about four hours to edit, which is like six hours in total. And then it's going to take about two hours to save so that's eight hours and then it's going to take about an hour to upload so that's nine hours just for one episode to go up so you guys see why it takes so freaking long to uh to, to get it up and and editing shouldn't even be taking so long let me show you why editing takes so long so this is what i go through okay this is me trying to play the video on the the program so i'm able to edit it properly it's done but listen to this thanks okay hey i Exposed, exposed, go ahead and troll me all over the comment section. Oh, I know you're a phone, you're a fake. Man, I knew you want the size. You just didn't want to get bigger because you 
healing care. So you see how choppy it is? It's so slow, like it slows everything down. Every time I try to make a new edit, I have to wait like five, 10 seconds just for things to fix. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's like if I had a better computer, it would be so much faster, but hey, I'm still pushing through it, right? Take me four hours. It could probably take me two hours to edit this video. That's a lot of freaking time. So guys, yeah, I haven't been doing much today. This is going to take more than two hours. Don't believe this freaking computer. I'm sorry for pretty much that freaking, you know, it's probably been with calisthenics, but I basically gave you guys an editing tutorial for those of you guys who are watching. You're like, yo, what the hell is this, man? Like, where's the bodybuilding stuff? Like, but yeah, I just want to show you guys some behind the scenes of what I go through when uploading, the, when uploading this video. So, it's tough, man. It's freaking tough, but... I enjoy it. Like, it would be so much better if this was just my normal job instead of having to go to McDonald's and stuff because I'm like, bro, how the hell am I going to do this when I'm working? Like, how? Like, I just, I, it's going to be, like, impossible. Like, I'm going to have to try to edit it between two to three days just to get one episode up, right? But at least it's bi-weekly. I'm sure I could figure out somehow, and hopefully I get that new computer ASAP so I'm able to edit faster. But, yeah. This is what I go through, guys. So I'm actually coming back from Pizza Hut because I was just craving some pizza, man. And I got their cookie also, but this isn't gonna be a, a regular thing. I'm only gonna do it like this one time. And next time I buy food out like this, I'll just go grocery shopping or something and get like freaking tilapia, get chicken, get beef, get uh, freaking spaghetti, all these other things. Make, uh, am I saying macaroni? I was gonna say McDonald's. <laughs> It's like I didn't even start working there yet, and I'm already, I'm already like their, their, what's the word, their drone, McDonald's drone. And another thing too, I didn't even eat since I had the, the macaroni, I keep saying McDonald's, I didn't even eat since I had the McDonald's, so this should be a lot of freaking calories, two personal pan cheese pizzas with the uh, cookie, that should be a lot of freaking calories, I know it's not really healthy, but you know what, Yo, it's gonna get the job done, right, it's gonna help me get over my caloric surplus and whatnot so yeah and i freaking love this man this is my favorite pizza so allow me guys allow me see do y'all see this this is what i'm talking about bro see all of these calories right here easily makes up for all the calories i wasn't getting earlier today even though it's pretty freaking fattening but y'all want to enjoy this <laughs> Sometimes I, I gotta look at the camera, the, the, the screen, make sure I'm looking at the camera nice. These are nice though. Ooh. A lot of calories though. Sugar. Man, my carb intake today is probably like over 300 grams of carbs. Not even lying. <clears throat> There's no way I can finish all of this right now. There's too much sugar. I need to drink some water. Do you want a piece of cookie? Okay. Damn, man, so much sugar. It tastes so good. Y'all see this, man? It's freaking nighttime. We're turning nighttime. It's crazy. Like, this is probably like one of the first times I've actually recorded. This is actually like one of the first times I've recorded in the nighttime. So, welcome to my room at night, guys. And let me show you guys how the upload is going so yeah it took about four hours to save and it's gonna take about it's gonna take over an hour to upload and then it has to process so yeah this is why bodybuilding calisthenics is taking so long to come remember these are longer episodes too because before it didn't take so long remember some episodes would be about 10 to 15 minutes probably even less this one is like freaking half an hour like a yo these these are becoming like tv shows man so now i can see why you guys like these so much but yeah i guess that's gonna be what it is for today guys got pizza got cookies ate some i still have the pizza left to eat and yeah yes that's it hey i was actually going to end today's portion of the vlog for this episode but I actually just looked up something pretty interesting that you guys probably want to see. It's not so interesting, but just look at it. Okay, so as you guys saw, I ate that cookie. 
I ate six slices of that cookie. One slice is 800, 180 calories. So I had six out of the eight slices, gave two to my brother. And that means I got 1,080 calories from that cookie. Then earlier on, you remember when I had, I actually had about, what, 960 calories? I had 960 calories of that macaroni and cheese. Plus I had a little bit of ketchup and whatnot. So let's just round it off to 1,000 calories. So that's 2,080 calories. Then I had two personal pan cheese pizzas, and one personal pan cheese pizza, according to what I saw online, is 560 calories, right? It was 560 calories. So you multiply that by two, that's, a, that's, a, that's 1,120, right? 1,120 calories. So that adds another 1,000. So that's like 3,000 calories around there. More than 3,000 calories. So it's like 3,100 calories. And then I had about... And then I had spaghetti from the can, the alphabet spaghetti, that's like 300 calories, right? And that ends up being over 3,000 calories. So 3,400 calories, 3,500 calories roughly. And I had juice. So I had between, I could safely say I had between 3,500 calories to 4,000 calories. Somewhere between there, which is well over my caloric surplus. So yeah, that was actually pretty good. It wasn't a lot of meals that I had today, but it was calorically dense, and it was unhealthy, <laughs> so don't follow my footsteps, guys, please don't, I'm young, I have BBC genetics, so I'm able to get away with this a lot more than most of y'all, so, hey, I'm blessed, okay, guys, so it's like 10 o'clock right now, it's almost 10 o'clock, and by being with Calisthenics episode 11, it's going to be uploaded, so since I've already been showing you behind the scenes, or, you know, showing you what goes on through my eyes, you know, as a youth, as a YouTuber providing the content, I just want to show you guys, like, how things are, so I showed you guys the editing, I showed you guys how long it takes, right, so now I'm going to show you guys your responses to when I upload, let's say, a video like this, which is one of my more pop, pretty much my most popular type of videos, Pirates and Calisthenics, Bodybuilding and Calisthenics, so I just want to show you guys, you guys, like, like, I freaking love you guys, man, I just, it's crazy how much support I get, and I just, uh, I wouldn't trade this for anything, for anything, but I'm not again to a, a motivational speech or get all sobby on you guys right now, I just want to show you guys something. So as you guys saw before, I had a bunch of emails, and I pretty much deleted them all, so I deleted them all, I didn't actually open all of them because it was just too much, so I deleted them all, and I cleared it, okay, I cleared it. So now this is my empty ass inbox, which is like rare, <laughs> okay? So, as I said before, I'm actually going to try to discipline myself and go to bed earlier. I actually do have my orientation for McDonald's at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So that's pretty much when, when, my, when my shift could possibly start and when I do start work. So I'm going to try to plan my day out as if I actually have work. So I'm going to wake up, get my workout in, try to record some footage, try to edit this episode as much as I can to get it up for at least Saturday and just to see how I'm able to cope with work and YouTube together, right? So, yeah, uh, I'll show you guys your responses. Since it's empty right now, it's going to upload in three minutes. So I'll show you guys your responses when I wake up in the morning. I'm not going to reply to any of you guys tonight. I'm just going to have you guys uh, reply and all that and show you guys my inbox the next day. Okay guys, so it's almost 12 and as I said, I'm going to try to remain disciplined, try to go to bed at 12 on the dot as much as possible. Okay, it's like, what, three minutes? So it's 11, it's 11.57, the video was uploaded basically two hours ago, so I'm going to wake up and see how well it does. Let me actually show you how well it's doing right now. So far it has 360 views, 31 comments, 52 likes, and 4 haters, but I think that's pretty well. Actually, that's one of the best. That's one of the best my videos have been doing so far. Like 400 views almost in two hours. It's pretty crazy to me. So yeah, I'm gonna get my ass to bed now. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so good morning, guys. It's the next day, and as I said, I want to show you guys, uh, you guys. So here's a problem, though. My internet connection is temporarily suspended. Even though I could get onto some websites, especially YouTube, which is important. I mean, important, important. But yeah, I could get onto YouTube, but I can't log into my Hotmail on my computer. I get so freaking messed up. But yeah, the internet bill wasn't paid. 
uh, it's past due and Bell is being douchebag so uh, let me show you guys the response uh, regardless because I'm still at the comments anyway so so as you guys can see almost a thousand views 68 comments 95 likes 17 haters I freaking love this man and look at the subscriber count look at that 80 away from 8k so yo we're putting in that work SOS family we're doing it we're back on track but because the internet is down or down I don't know if I'll be able to upload the video today or tomorrow but I'll try to get it up as soon as I possibly can and I do actually have some good news well for me though my protein finally came in so I'm gonna go by the, the post office pick it up after I work out, come back, have a protein shake, and then go to my McDonald's orientation so I can get this job in. So, yeah, I'm just in a really chill mood right now. So, I'll see you guys soon. A lot of y'all wonder where I got my hat from. So, let me show you guys exactly who I got it from. The Lean Squad, bruh. See? Look, that's where I got the hat from. Nigga, put in your right ear. Ain't this the gay side? Put in your goddamn ear, man. Yeah, they're trying to do the fusion. The fusion like in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> hey, nigga. I got the ultimate power now, boy. Shut your bitch ass up. But yeah, guys, that's where I got the hat from, okay? That is where I got my hat from. Right there. <laughs> That's where I got the hat from. So yeah, I'm just resting for a little bit because I just ate. So I'm gonna chill for like about five, ten minutes and then get my workout in. Shit, guys, I just realized I can't get the workout in. It's like almost 12 o'clock and my orientation is at 2 and I, I have to leave like at 1. So if I start working at 12, I'm, I'm pretty much, I could probably be late. Because obviously I'm gonna have to eat something after the workout, so damn. For me, it's just like, it's like I can still get the workout in later. Luckily, I don't actually have to work today, but man, like, it's just the kids coming outside again after three and whatever. I'll just go get the whey protein then. And I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I'll figure it out. Okay, guys, so I'm finally coming back from the orientation. It was like two and a half hours. Uh, I'm freaking hungry. I'm starving. I'm starving. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to get my workout in, then get the protein, like, oh my gosh, man, today was just so thrown off, so, I still got some crap to figure out right now, I still got some crap to figure out, it's cold, it's kind of cold, oh man, I'm excited though, I'm excited, like, McDonald's don't look so bad, like, it doesn't look like a bad place to work, like, yeah, you gotta put in work, but hey, I'm gonna be making some... Well, not good money. It's not good money. It's minimum wage. But the way I'm going to start managing my money now, I'm really going to budget it in a way that I'm able to get everything that I want. Such as my... Man, if, if it goes well, if the way I budget my money goes well, I will have the new laptop, new computer, new mic, new everything by the end of the year, straight up. If everything... If I get the consistent hours, right? If I save my money consistently, whoo! Straight Door Size is going to have a freaking renovation. And soon enough, I'm going to need somebody to make me a YouTube banner, a new YouTube banner. So you guys can hit me up if you want. And when I'm ready, I'll message whoever it is who wants to do a YouTube banner for me. Okay, so I'm at the grocery store right now. And I'm looking for, for things to buy. I'm stressing right now. Like, I'm really stressing out. Like, I feel like making some type of stir-fry meal. That's why I'm at the vegetables right now. These look pretty good. Like, I'm liking how these look. Well, I'm liking how that one looks, especially this one right there. Okay, yeah, see, yeah. That one right there, I like how that one looks to mix in with some rice. And for some reason, I'm really feeling for some beef. But I'm contemplating whether or not I actually want to buy food now because the line is freaking ridiculous. I'm hungry. I want to go home, try to get the tracking number so I'm able to go to the post office and pick up the protein. There's so much crap going on, so... I don't know guys. Hey, they got some cookies on sale. I really love these. Last time I got these, I really loved these ones. I always got these as a kid. My mom used to buy these and I always used to eat this one and the chocolate one. 
But me and my bro would leave these alone, but when we're starving, we'll eat these ones. We'll leave these to spoil. But those of y'all who have not tasted these, please buy these. Skip these, buy this, and you could probably buy this. But this one is good, and this one is really good. Okay, you know what? One last time, I'm gonna buy some fast food, but like rice, like rice and chicken. Because I, I don't want to go buy groceries without knowing what I actually want to buy. I don't want to waste my money. So I'm going to buy food again today. And then when I get home, I'm going to make like a grocery list of what I'm actually going to pick up tomorrow. I know this episode is like freaking 10 hours long. Jeez, I might have to split this up into two parts. But yeah, whatever. You guys enjoy it anyway. You guys, I enjoy looking at someone live the bodybuilding lifestyle even though I'm not a bodybuilder. But yeah, let me get some food and go home because I'm starving, man. Okay, so I didn't want to do this, but I was going to buy two meals, like two rice and peas and chicken meals uh, for like, and that would, that would have totaled up to $8, but then I remembered that at Pizza Hut, <laughs> I know it's not healthy, but bro, I need the calories. At Pizza Hut, they're doing a, so if you buy a medium pizza for $8, you get the second one for $5, so $13, I get two medium pizzas. That will freaking, you know, replenish all the freaking calories I did not get today, so I have to stop saying freaking. See, if, if I didn't say freaking, I will say fucking every sing, single time. But yeah, let me actually start recording while I'm on the street. Okay, guys, please do not follow my lead as what you see me doing in this video. Like, do not, like, buying takeout once in a while is cool, you know, but do not copy me in buying it, like, almost every day. I'm only doing it now because of just inconvenience. Like, for example, this morning, I had breakfast. All I had was 400 calories of, of spaghetti in the can, right? And there's like no food at my house. Like there's really, there's literally like no food at my house. So that's why I bought this again. I was going to buy rice and chicken, and it was going to cost you four dollars. I'm like, f that. I rather buy, I rather buy a personal pan, which costs three dollars, and it has more calories than the rice and chicken. And I bought two of them. And then plus I bought some cookies because you know I love me some cookies. But at the same time they have a lot of calories too. Now are they good calories? No, it's junk food. But bro, I'm not even even after eating all of this, I probably will just hit maintenance calories. Probably, right? Probably just hit maintenance calories. So for me, right now, at least for today, I'm just trying to get the calories in. Not really trying to be healthy and all that stuff. So when I actually I guess tomorrow. Oh yeah, I will I will hit surplus because I'm gonna go back to the post office and pick up my protein shake. Then I'm gonna drink two of those today. Remember one protein shake? Remember one of my protein shakes are about a thousand calories. So I'm gonna have two of them and hit two thousand calories. And then these two pieces together is a thousand calories, so that's three thousand. And then I had the four hundred calories from the thing. So you see my point, guys? When you guys slip up, when things slip up or things don't go according to plan, yo, just eat some, yo, if you have to, just go and buy your takeout, guys. Just go and buy it, man. Just don't make it a habit. And on top of that, save your money. Like, yo, this kills your pockets, okay? It really kills your pockets. And luckily I got paid, luckily I got paid again from that job I hate so, that I hated so much. So, yeah. Just got to start McDonald's next week. I start training next week. And soon enough, I'll be able to start online coaching. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to speak more on that. But just to, just to put it out there, I'm going to be offering the first five people two weeks of free coaching. I think. I think it's going to go like that. Can't remember. Can't remember what I was thinking this morning. But yeah, you guys will see. Okay, so most likely I am not. No. I'm not getting the workout in today. I could have worked out, but because I want to record it, I'm going to do it tomorrow morning since I'm free. Uh, today wasn't really too much of a successful day. This is going to be a really long episode. I see all of you guys' emails, which I'm really going to try to get to right now. As you guys can see, y'all raped my inbox. I checked like a couple of emails, but y'all raped my inbox. Jeez! And right now I'm actually checking to see two things. I'm checking my tracking number for my protein and I'm checking to see if the post office is still open because it's 7.30 right now. And I want, I want my freaking po- I want my freaking protein, man. What is it? Canada Post? <laughs> Canada Post. So I want to see if it's open so I can go get my protein. I'm, I'm going to have two protein shakes tonight, man, if I can. 
if I can, I have two protein shakes just to get this extra calories in. And then boom, I'm in surplus again. I should be gaining weight uh, over time. And heck, even then I may want to up my calories a bit more. So we'll see. I also got to check how much money is in my bank account. <sighs> this no, it's closed. Ah. And of course, this is the camera I've been eyeing. And I'm getting this camera by any means necessary. Even if I have to suck some. Look at this, guys. Look at.